What's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel and today we are checking out the Ichin E58, the pocket drone. It is the Wi-Fi FPV with two megapixel wide angle camera, altitude hold, foldable RC, DJI Mavic clone, toy drone ready to fly. So let's go and open up the box and check this baby out. All right, everything is out of the box and laid out on the table. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here's the quadcopter very nice compact folded design foldable props as well and it is looking very much similar to the real dji mavic wow even got the stripes on the side as well the landing legs right on the tip of the motor pod there uh wi-fi fpv camera right up in the front uh however that is as high as it'll go so and it is angled down somewhat look at that i need to lift it up that much to get it on a straight away horizon view so if you pitch it forward you are going to get a lot of ground shots yeah that's one thing bad about it they should have made it so that it goes up a little bit higher but pretty lo nice looking grill design in the front with a couple of led lights kind of looking like that ford mustang front grill sort of pretty nice on and off switch right on the top uh, on the bottom, we can see that uh, there's the Wi-Fi antenna all the way in the back and there's the Wi-Fi module and guess what? We have a micro SD card slot hidden right up underneath of it so we will stick a micro SD card and see if we can take photos and videos with it and there is the battery here and it is a proprietary battery and it is a 3.7 volt 500 milliamp size battery here and we see that there is a micro usb port to charge up the battery so that is nice supposed to give you a flight time of about six to seven minutes and you just slide it back in and it clips into place little led light fixture in the back so very nice let's go ahead and open up the arms so you got to open up the front arm first because of this landing leg that's attached to the front arm and open up the back so just like that open up the front open up the back and it is looking awesome yeah very very close resemblance to the real dji mavic this is the closest one out of all of the fold out toy drones that look like the dji mavic very nice job very nice design all right so i don't see any other led lights or anything so let's go ahead and put this down here and let's check out what else we get in the box we get a remote control and we also get some prop guards minimalistic design prop guards i think they're just snap on prop guards so let's go ahead and see how they snap on here you snap it on from the bottom and you push it up and there you go just like that you got yourself some prop guards so if you want to fly it with some crop prop prop guards you can go ahead and install those prop guards very easy to put it on and take it off here's a bag of goodies it contains some extra foldable props uh, screwdriver and the usb to micro usb charge cable and we also get an instruction manual pretty nice very thick instruction manual comes in all sorts of languages and it's pretty detailed tells you everything you need to know about the remote control how to go about flying it and how to calibrate it how to arm it and there is uh, some qr codes to download the wi-fi fpv app and it is called the jyufo app it's a free app in the app store so you can go ahead and check it out very nice and another language starts all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the remote control here we've seen one of these remote controls before and they resemble the real dji remote control as well man very very nice and there's the phone clip you just pull it down slide your phone in and it holds my iphone 6 plus without the case that is the maximum amount of phone size you can put on here and the antennas here double antennas but they are not real antennas they're just fake antennas we got a bunch of 
buttons on the top. Uh, this button over here, if you short press it, it's the headless mode. Long pressing of it is the one key return. And this button here is the photo video. Short press it, take a photo. Long press it, take a video. And since it has a micro SD card slot, this probably functions and we will check it out to make sure it does. Uh, this button over here, I believe this one does the flips. And this button over here is the speed changing button. A uh, bunch of trim buttons right on the top, on and off switch. There's a few uh, LED lights on as well. And this button here is the one key to take off. And this button here is one key to land. Calibrating, both sticks to the bottom and to the right. And to arm, both sticks to the bottom and out. And to disarm, both sticks to the bottom and out as well. All right, so let's go and check this baby out and go for a little line of sight flight first without the Wi-Fi FPV phone app connected and stick a micro SD card in there so we can try and take some photos and videos. All right, so let's check that out. All right, we are ready to go with the Ichin E58. Everything is set up, ready to go. Uh, what I wanted to mention is that there is the motor inside of the arm lying down like some of the other fold out arm type quadcopters. And so there's a couple of gears uh, making the props spin and it is the 720 brushed motors. And I have a eight gigabyte micro SD card inserted at this time, formatted of course. I tried out this micro SD card as well as a 32 gigabyte micro SD card both formatted and I tried to record uh, photos and videos onto it by utilizing the hard remotes photo and video button. Um, it does indicate that I'm taking a photo and a video. The light does blink on when I take a photo and the light blinks continuously when I take a video. But there's nothing recorded on the micro SD card. So what I'm going to do today is I do have a 8 gigabyte formatted micro SD card inserted here and I'm going to try and utilize the Wi-Fi phone app to take the photos and videos. Hopefully I do get the recording into the Wi-Fi phone app itself as well as the micro SD card. So we're going to go ahead and check that out. So let's go and turn this baby on. Yes, it is on. Turning on the remote control up and down on the throttle binds it and all the lights are solid so let's go ahead and place it nice and flat both sticks to the bottom and to the right will calibrate and the light blinked and now it is solid all right so let's go ahead and turn the phone on go into the settings of the phone go into the wi-fi section nothing is connected let's see what comes on I believe it is, the app's name is the uh, JYUFO. It shows up as a Wi-Fi 720p. So clicking on it and connecting to the Wi-Fi network. And we got a check mark. We are good to go. So let's go and hit that app. It's called the JYUFO phone app. And would like to access your microphone. Okay. Go ahead and hit play. And yes, we got wi-fi video feed and it is looking like 720p but there is a little bit of a delay there and a little breakup as you can see it stopped and it resumed so it's not going to be the uh great up to the second kind of fpv now let's go ahead and check out the phone app very minimalistic you can turn on the virtual sticks. You can turn it off, uh, have it turned off. So let's go ahead and take some photos. Would like to access your photos. Okay. So let's go ahead and point it up straight. And look at that. I'm looking at the ground. I'm not getting the horizon view. So I got to lift the quadcopter up a little bit to take the horizon photo. So that's not going to be a good... Uh, photo and video taker this one because once you start pitching forward you are going to shoot the ground so let's go ahead and make our rounds all right let's take a photo of the cabin as well it's kind of shaded so it's dark that way very beautiful day today so clear all right so we have taken some photos
Okay, so let's go ahead and take a video. I'm going to hit that video icon and there's a red blinking dot. So we are taking a video. All right. So um, let's go and check out to see whether or not the one kilo takeoff works by itself without arming the motors. Let's go ahead and press it. Oh, yeah. And it comes to a hover right around there. Let's lift it up and send it out a little bit it seems to want to come back this way so i'm going to go ahead and forward trim there you go nice and steady hey looking pretty decent oh it has a slight backward tilt every time i want to yaw so i gotta give it a forward pitch Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I gotta really give it a forward pitch in order for it to fly and make bank turns. Because it kind of drifts to the back when I'm trying to yaw for some reason. All right, so that's speed number one. Okay, let it hover right there. And we got altitude hold on this thing, so look at that. Very, very nice. Speed changing button here. Hello. There you go. Speed number two. Hey, pretty decent. All of these fold out quads work pretty good. All right. Let's see if we got nice FPV. Yeah, see, I'm taking a video of the ground let me go ahead and make my rounds here there i am coming too close to the building here all right let me go up in altitude a little bit and get out into the middle of the field so you are able to do some fpv with this one here yep pretty good so far no breakup because i'm very close by but that's not bad check it out nice and the quality of the video feed is nice too very nice so hopefully i'm getting some recording done here yeah if i had an android device which i don't this is an iphone and if you do have an android device oh there was a little breakup you are able to screen record too bad this iphone does not have that screen record function and I can show you what I'm looking at as well. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the recorded video. So we are able to do some FPV with this one. Speed number three. Baby. Yeah. Yeah, now we got a little sporty flyer. Then LED lights in the front. Man, those things are nice and bright. So no problem orientation wise yeah okay i kind of utilized this heading as the northbound heading so let's go ahead and hit that headless mode the button in the back here single press and i'm bringing it back going forward while i'm spinning yep headless mode works great yeah i'm just going in a big circle all right Okay, and it also beeps to let you know you are in headless mode. So a short press of that button was the headless mode. Now a long press of it should be the... I accidentally pressed it, sorry. Long press of it should be the one key return. So let's go ahead and long press it. Oh, but it's going that away. And it beeps continuously until you redirect it with the pitch or the roll stick here. Alright, so it kind of works. Wrong heading, but yeah, nevertheless, I'm probably going to have to bring it back in and recalibrate the gyros and the heading in order for it to do it correctly. All right. So not bad. So far, so good. Yeah, all that spinning in headless mode probably got it all confused. <laughs> hey, not bad. Let's try the one key to land. Uh, this is the button to initiate the one key to land. 
and I'm going to redirect it here, bring it in, and come to a nice little landing, and the motor shut off. Very nice. All right, so one kilo land works as well. Now let's check out the uh, arming by bolt sticks to the bottom and out. There you go. Arms it and disarms it. Nice. So let's go ahead and arm it and manually take off this time. Yeah, nice. We are still in speed number three. Hey, not bad. It has a 80 to 100 meter distance, guys, this one. But the Wi-Fi distance is a dismal 30 meters. That's what it says on the paper. So let's go check out how far I can take this out and the Wi-Fi feed dies off. So going forward. And I'm still recording. Okay, I'm going beyond the rocks and I'm go going into the bush area where the dirt is. And I still got video. No breakups yet. It's starting to break up right around there. So that's about the distance. I would say that's about a good 50 meters. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, hit that headless mode. Okay, and bringing it back. Doesn't matter which way the quadcopter is facing. I can just pull on the stick and I can bring it back. That is a good use of the headless mode. You took it out. You don't know which way the quadcopter is facing. You can bring it back. All right. So we have tested out just about all of the functions except the flip function. And there's the flip. Left and right flips. It will not do a forward and rear flip on this one. Just the left and right. So just the rolls. There you go. Right flip. Left flip. Right flip. Oh, now it will not do a flip. Have I entered LVC? Yes, I did. The lights are blinking in the front. Now let's just test out what happens when I turn off the remote control. Turned it off. And it comes down by itself. Very nicely. It doesn't just drop. There you go. Come to a nice little landing and the motors turn off. Nice. Let me go ahead and turn it back on. At the same time, I'm going to hit that video icon. So I have captured all of that video. Up and down on the throttle. And I am able to reconnect. Nice. All right, so that is the LVC mode we are in. So I'm going to go ahead and bring it in. I'm not going to waste out the battery. So that's about the flight time. And it wants to come down anyways. Yep, it just came down. Okay, that's what happens when it's low on battery. And uh, it is out and it just comes down. But it did land itself and the motors did shut off. All right, so that is the test flight of the Eqin E58. All right, we are back with the Eqin E58, and this time around, I'm gonna try and fly it with the Wi-Fi phone app. Uh, apparently, when you have the micro SD card inserted, the videos are recorded into the micro SD card and not in the Wi-Fi phone app. However, I did have photos recorded into the Wi-Fi phone app. I'm not sure about the photos into the micro SD card until I take it home. There's three folders in the folder view of the Wi-Fi phone app and it shows that I have photos and videos I have none in the Wi-Fi phone app. And then there's another folder called the SD card video folder and that one I do have the video. So we did take that video so that is very nice so what i'm going to do is fly it with the wi-fi phone app i'm also going to record so i'm going to be recording into the wi-fi phone app this time around all right so let's go ahead and start up the phone here and start up the quadcopter and it is blinking going to the settings i did charge it up in the car for about an hour and a half so it was not fully charged so we're going to make this quick here I'm in the settings, Wi-Fi section of the settings. There you go, Wi-Fi 720p, and it is automatically trying to connect. And there we go, we are connected. Starting off the phone app, and hitting that play, and we got Wi-Fi FPV, video feed, baby, 
All right, so there we go. We are good to go. So first things first, I'm going to hit that video icon, and it is recording. But this time around, the icon turned yellow, and there's a counter on the bottom instead of a red dot. So that is the difference. Okay, so let's go to 100%. Let's turn on our virtual sticks. Let's click on the altitude hold in which there's a flip, there's a camera or microphone icon so this, this has voice control guys so I don't, I'm not sure what that is oh arms the motors and emergency stop that button arms the motors and this button is the emergency stop and there's also an arrow up and an arrow down so one key to take off and one key to land all right so let's go ahead and check this out let me hit that one key to take off oh let me go to the settings and there should be a calibration and let's check it out I believe that's the calibration yep it is calibrating and it has stopped all right we also have the flight planner in here as well as well as the 3d um, VR goggles split screen mode as well and you can reverse flip over the video upside down if you wish all right, so let's go ahead and hit this one key to take off and see if it arms and takes off. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One key to take off. And we are at 100% and we got nice pitch action. Let me raise it up in altitude. So the sky is the backdrop here or the background. Yeah, nice. Good controls. Okay, and we do got altitude hold and it is just veering to the left here let me bring it back i can't keep it at a steady hover yeah there you go altitude hold but it is going that way so i need to do some trims but i don't see that many trim buttons here okay let's see Look, it gives off a little whistle when you do the trims. Anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and fly it just like this. And I am able to FPV as well. There you go, going away from me. Turning around. And there I am. Oh, dangerously coming close to the building here. Oops. To the tree. Pitching forward. Let me bring it out into the open field here. And it should be right there. Nice. Okay. I think it's coming towards me. Yep. I can see that it is coming towards me. But the yaw, it kind of over rotates a little bit. There's slight delay. So I can't really control it pinpoint. You just got to gently touch the yaw. Uh oh. Whoa, 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 it just went into a spin and I am looking directly into the sun. Let me get out of that sun. Okay, so we are able to fly around with the Wi-Fi phone app. Let me bring it down real quick here. Okay, right around there. And I'm going to hit that gyro. Now I'm flying it with the gyro. Yeah, works good. Left, right. Oh, it comes back a little bit. Yeah, this one has a slight problem. It tilts back a little bit. Doesn't want to stay at a nice bank turn. Okay, bringing it back. All right, the G mode works pretty good. I'm going to get out of that G mode and take over the controls with the virtual sticks here. And hopefully we still have some flight time left. So let's go ahead and bring it down. What I want to do is check out what the voice commands are. I'm going to... Ah, very hard to see. I'm sure it's forward, backward, left side, right side. Yep, it works. All right. So let's go ahead and take off one more time. I want to arm it this time with the arming button. And manually take off. Okay. All right. Hitting that voice control. 
forward, right side, backward, left side. Yep, voice control works. Let me get out before I lose the clock up there. <laughs> Not bad. Everything works so far? Flight planner. Drawing a line. Yep. Drawing a line the other way. Oh man, this thing just goes. Because we are at 100%. Very nice. Going to the right. Going forward. Coming back. I'm drawing small lines, by the way. There you go. Flight planner works good. Very accurate. Okay. All right, let me draw a circle. Yeah, it did a circle. Bringing it back. Yep. I'm going to get out of that flight planner and take over the controls with the virtual sticks. There you go, bringing it back. All right, everything works on this quadcopter. And there's also a flip button too. There you go. Did a flip. All right, another flip. So the flip function works as well. And I'm pretty sure you won't be able to do forward and rear flips. Nope, it won't do forward flips. And it will not do rear flips. But it will do rolls. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit that video button. All right, we have saved that video. So don't have to worry about the video now. I can just fly it with the virtual sticks and pretty nice. Not bad. The Ichin E58. The closest resemblance to the DJI Mavic in a toy grade fold out quadcopter. Not bad at all. All right, so let me go ahead and bring it in now. And let me hit that one key to land and redirect it to where I want it to land and just land it right there. I was gonna bring it in and land on the wood, but it came down faster than I could redirect it. All right, so that is a Wi-Fi FPV flight or the Wi-Fi phone app flight with the Ichin E58. All right, just got done checking out the Ichin E58, the DJI Mavic fold-out toy clone quadcopter here. Uh, pretty nice flying characteristics with the hard remote as well as the Wi-Fi phone app. However, the camera does uh, point to the ground somewhat, but it was decent. Um, I was able to do some FPV. It has a pretty good wide angle lens so you are able to see somewhat of a horizon you just got to go up in altitude somewhat so what we have learned is that you are able to take photos and videos on the micro sd card hopefully the photos anyways i know for sure the videos i'm going to go home and check it out while you have the micro sd card inserted but without the micro sd card you are going to take the photos and videos directly into the wi-fi phone app and look like it's got a pretty decent camera the 720p and the fpv distance was not bad it was all right 40 maybe around 40 meters uh, it started to die off but all in all uh, if you stay within you are able to fpv with this one pretty nice video feed not much breakups if you stay close by so very very nice uh, so that concludes our review and flight test of the Ichin E58. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching. Have a great day and we'll see you again next time.